pinapaalala niyo sa amin na ikaw ang aming provider, Lord. 
sa panahon na kami nangihina. Lord God, you give us strength, Lord. Jesus, you are our strength, our provider. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. And with you, all things are possible. To those who believe, all things are possible. And we give you praise, Lord. Woo! Hallelujah! We can speak Jesus in every situation, in every need. And we thank you. And we glorify you today. Salamat po muli sa pribilehyo na kami ay makapagpuri, makapagpasalamat at makasamba sa inyo. Father, today I pray that at this moment, you captivate our minds. Bless our hearts and fill our spirits today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you and we honor you today. Have your way. Release the spirit of revelation and wisdom today, Lord. Thank you, Father. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And we all say amen and amen and amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a powerful time of worship and we say amen. Sino po rito yung napuspos ng presence ni Lord? Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Wow. Christfield Sunday to everyone. Welcome to our Sunday worship celebration. Welcome to His Life family. Could you please tell your neighbor right now? Welcome back. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good to see you again. And we say amen. <laughs> Praise God. Before we sit down, bigyan mo ng matinding high five yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo to sa kanya. Sabihin mo, you look good when you smile. Come on. Tell that to your neighbor. Come on. You look good when you smile. Yan. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We can all be seated in His presence today. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready for the Word? Come on. Are you ready for the Word today? You know, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know, ito po yung maganda na uh, every time we come to church, no, kung medyo uh, napagod ka sa buong linggo, you know, you come to church and, you know, you spend it together with our brothers and sisters just worshiping and praising God. And the next thing you know, the word of God is preached and uh, you hear the word and the Bible says faith comes. No? Lumalakas ka. No, uh, sumisigla ang yung pananampalataya pag naririnig mo yung word of God. Let me ask you again, are you ready for the word? Yes. Come on, are you ready for the word? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Isang libro na ang title ay Learned Optimism. No? It's a good book. No? Learned Optimism, yung natututunan daw yung pagkakaroon ng magandang pananaw sa buhay, no? It was written by Professor Martin Seligman. And he said these words. He made a case for considering depression. How many are familiar with that word today? Come on. Depression as arising not from misplaced chemicals in the body or lingering childhood trauma. Ang pinanggagalingan daw ng depression, hindi sa, you know, yung uh, mga negative chemicals sa katawan o yung lingering child trauma. Ang pinanggagalingan ng depression is from negative thinking. He wrote, depression is nothing more than its symptoms. It is caused by conscious negative thoughts. And he wrote on further saying, emotion actually comes from uh, directly from what we think, sabi niya. When you think I'm in danger, you feel fear and anxiety. When you think I'm offended, pag naisip mo na you are offended, you feel anger. When you feel at a loss, you feel sadness. He wrote further, sabi niya, depression results from lifelong habits of conscious thought. He said, if we change these habits of thoughts, we can cure depression. 
Yan ang sabi niya sa kanyang libro. Pero merong mas matinding libro na pwedeng ma-overcome ang depression. It's called the book of books and it's called the Bible. And everybody said amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. There is a better book, better than that book. This is the book. The answer for all of our needs. That's why you're here today. Because every time you hear the word, faith comes to you. It ministers to you. It brings healing. It brings power. The word of God is power and they are life. And all those who agree, say amen. amen. Proverbs 23 verse 7 declares, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. As he thinks in his heart, so is he. So, kung ano ang iniisip ng puso, yan ka nagiging. That's what the Bible says. Now, I think it's very obvious sa panahon po natin, isang bagay ang marahil yung ilan po sa inyo nakikita ito, o maybe yung ilan sa inyo nararanasan po ito, or nararamdaman, or you get to see it with your friends, maybe in the workplace, maybe even in family. It is very obvious that, and I believe that you will agree with me, that mental health, I'm familiar with that word today, mental health is one of the biggest challenges in our days. Those who agree with me, kumanong ka lang, yeah, yeah, I get you, Pastor. There is an alarming statistics that more and more people are struggling with mental health these days. Mas marami ang mga kabataan ang nag struggle with it these days. There are more and more young people are struggling with mental health. And of course, hindi lang po mga young people. Kahit mga matatanda. Parang wala na akong kausap ngayon. Hallelujah. Lahat ng mga seniors magsabing amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Young and old struggle with it. That's why today, I want to speak to you on the message entitled, God wants to give you a sound mind. Sige po. We want to address that today. God wants to give you a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 declares, For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of what? Come on, shout it out. A sound mind. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Now, Today, this morning, gusto kong talagang uh, uh, himayin po natin yung verse na ito. We will draw out, you know, some powerful truths out of this verse. And, and I pray that God will speak to us through this word. So para mas maintindihan po natin ito, uh, unawain po natin, ano ba ibig sabihin ng sound mind? Let me just say that the Bible that I'm holding and that the Bible that you have, you know, is they have, it has an Old Testament and a New Testament. The Old Testament is written in Hebrew language, all right? And the New Testament was written in the Greek language. It was the universal language in the time of Jesus. Ito yung, gina, ito yung parang English nung manahon ni Jesus. So, uh, kumisan para maintindihan ho natin yung talagang tinutumbok ng verse, we have to go back to its original language. Like, you know, did you know that uh, the word love in the English language you know, has three words in the Greek. No? Merong eros, merong phileo, and merong agape kind of love. So today, ano ba ibig sabihin ng sound mind para ma-appreciate natin ito today? Okay, let's go back to the Greek word. The Greek word for sound mind means sophroneo. Alright? Sophroneo. Ang ganda pangalan po niyan, by the way. Okay, a comp actually po, ang sovroneo is a compound word combining sozo and froneo, alright? It is a compound word. Dalawang word yan, sozo and froneo, 
The first word, sodso, ang ibig sabihin niyan is to, to be saved, to be delivered. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng sodso. It means something is delivered, rescued, revived, and protected, and is now safe and secure. Everybody say amen to that. So one expositor suggests that the word sodso depicts a person who was on the verge of death but then was revived and resuscitated because new life was breathed into him. So ang picture ng sodso pala ay yung isang taong naghihingalo pero ito ay na-revive, na-resuscitate kasi life was breathed into it. Sodso. Are you following church? Now the next word is froneo na ibig sabihin total frame of thinking including is rational logic or emotion so when we say froneo ito yung you know mga iniisip mo your the way you think froneo so when we combine them into one word they form the word sophroneo so if we combine them together ang ibig sabihin niyan it pictures a mind lahat po ng mga may isip ngayon magsabi ng amen It pictures a mind that has been delivered, rescued, saved, and protected, and is now safe and secure. We call that a sound mind. Everybody say sound mind. Wow. Can we give God praise to that? Amen? So yun ang sound mind. Isang pag-iisip, isang frame of mind na, na deliver, na resuscitate, na revive. No? At ngayon talagang safe and secure. If we can paraphrase 2 Timothy 1.7, this is how it goes. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. He has given you a mind that has been delivered, rescued, revived, protected, and brought into a place of safety and security that you are no longer affected by, what's the word? Negative thoughts, unfounded, illogical, absurd thoughts. And everybody said, and everybody said, yeah. Hallelujah. A sound mind is a stable mind. A sound mind is a healthy mind. A sound mind is a strong mind. God says, I want to give you a sound mind. God says, I don't want you to be affected by negative thoughts. I want to give you a strong, stable, sound mind. Sino po yung gusto ng magkaroon ng sound mind dito? Magsabi ng amen dyan. Come on, palapakan mo muna si Lord. Amen? Now, para mas ma-appreciate natin ito, let me put it this way. Okay, let me put it this way. Uh, have you ever been in a conversation and it usually happens like that, no? yung ganito, yung maaari nakausap mo, kaibigan mo, or kasama sa bahay, o katrabaho mo. Yung ganda-ganda ng araw mo, you know? kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Galing ka ng church, kumarga ka, spiritually, oh, yeah, yeah. tapos may nakasalubong ka, namit mo sa mall, No, and then nag-usap ko. Tapos, the next thing you know, itong tao na to, nagbitaw na mga, oh bra, oh bro, oh, oh sis, kamusta na? Oh, ito, dahil yung problema, cha 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 Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? No, yung, uh, ito kasi, puro reklamo, puro negative, negative words. And the next thing you know, no, you hear somebody say, mas maganda ho kasi pakinggan sa kapampangan eh, no? Pwede bang kumingi ng permission na sabihin ko mula ito sa kapampangan? Come on, hallelujah. Lahat po ng mga kapampangan dito magtaas ng kamay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Pasensya na kayo sa mga Bisaya at mga Tagalog dito. No? Hallelujah. But let me put it in, in a kapampangan kind of conversation. Di ba pag may narinig ka na tao na, you know, reklamo na reklamo, dami mga negative na sinasabi. Usually ito marinig mo. Na ano na naman yung isipan mo? Di ba? Na ano na naman yung lulubking utak mo? Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Ha? Di ba yung, ano na naman yung mga pinag-iisip mo? Ano na naman yung mga lumulutang sa isip mo? Di ba? In other words, what we are actually saying is, the words that comes out of my ma our, our mouth, you know, has a direct connection to what we are thinking. Are we following, church? Are we following? So, pag 
naka, may nakausap ka na puro, puro reklamo, puro negative ang sinasabi. Ibig sabihin yan, ang dami niyang mga lumulutam sa isip niya na ini-entertain na mga hindi magagandang pag-iisip. God says, listen church, He has not given you a spirit of fear, but He has given you power, love, and a sound, revived, restored, payapa, secure, safe na pag-iisip para pa hindi ka naapektuhan sa mga bagay na negative. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord yan. Amen! In other words, having a sound mind you know, uh, can de- determine the quality of your life. Having a sound mind can actually determine, you know, the trajectory of your life. Ang tanong dyan, si may kinalaman yung pag maganda ang pag-iisip, pag ayos ang pag-iisip, pag ni-revive ni Lord yung pag-iisip natin, hallelujah, ang trajectory mo pangat. And a lot of people today, they don't realize it na yung buhay nila pasubsog. Kasi ang daming mga naglalaro sa kanila mga isip na hindi tama. And God said, I'm going to give you a sound mind. And we say, Amen. God is concerned with what we are thinking. Kasi gusto kang i-bless ni Lord. Gusto kang ayusin ni Lord ang buhay mo. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? You know, just evaluate yung mga nangyari sa'yo sa buong linggo. Maybe bearing lang sa inyo ngayon, dumating feeling mo, plastado ka. Sagat na sagat ka. No? Bakit kaya? You know, maganda yung mapagod. Physically, okay yan. Pero, pero, pero for some, alam nyo, hindi physical ang pagod eh. Isip ang napagod. Kayo po ba yun pa? Ang mas matinding nagpapahina sa atin, hindi yung physical na trabaho eh. Yung pagod na isip, sa kakaisip, sumagat. Ang message ni Lord sa iyo at sa akin ngayon, anak, I want to give you a sound mind, a revived, restored, Secure. Safe. Para hindi ka naapektuhan sa mga negative thoughts. Para sinasabi ni Lord sa iyo, ayokong masubsub ka sa buhay. Sabi ni Lord, ayusin natin ang iniisip mo. How does God do that? It's in that verse. Kaya hihimayin natin yung verse na yan. Kayo po ba yun nandiyan pa? God wants to give you a sound mind by first helping you to overcome the spirit of fear. It is interesting, no? Grabe itong verse na to. No? Ang unang paraan para maayos ni Lord yung mga iniisip natin. Kasi ganito po kasi yan eh. Alam niyo ba na kahit nakahiga ka, pwede kang mapagod? <laughs> kahit po ba yun nandyan pa? Kahit wala kang ginagawa, nakaupo ka lang o nakahiga. Pero pag makita mo, may mga tao nga nun, wala namang ginagawa. Tapos, you know, paupo-upo lang, pahiga. Tapos, tanongin mo, kamusta ka na? Napagod ako ha? <laughs> Ito yan. Are you following? Hindi naman nagtrawa pero nawala ng gana. And interestingly, sabi ni Lord, anak, gusto ko itang bigyan ng sound mind. Ang unang-unang gagawin natin, ito, sabi niya. Sabi ng verse, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. So God wants to give you a sound mind by first helping you to overcome the spirit of fear. Bakit kaya? God has not given you a spirit of fear. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya may epekto sa ating inisip pag tayo ay naunahan ng takot? You see, sabi nga ng isang quote, Fear is that little dark room where negatives are developed. Marahil yung mga Gen Z hindi alam ang dark room. No? 
sa mga matatanda dito, alam nyo to. Na nung panahon natin, yung mga pictures para ma-develop, inilalagay sa dark room. Are you following? No? Diba? Fear is that little dark room where negatives are developed. Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones wrote this word. Sabi niya, when a man is defeated by life, pag ang isang tao nakakaramdam ng talo sa buhay, ito, dahil, ito daw ang dahilan. It is always due ultimately to the fact that he is suffering from a spirit of fear. Kung meron ka nakikitang taong talunan sa buhay, ito yung taong nag struggle sa spirito ng takot. The spirit of fear is the real, the ultimate cause, sabi niya, of all failure in life and of all unhappiness. Ang taong takot, hindi masaya. Ang taong masaya, hindi takot. Can I hear an amen? Palakpakan mo nga si Lord siya. I don't know if you noticed this. Did you know that fear is a driving force in the world today? Let me put it this way. Kaya kumikita yung mga yung mga news, no? yung mga... Kanito po kasi yun eh. Did you know that fear inspires the news headlines? Pag hindi nakakatakot ang balita, wala lang. Pag nakakatakot ang balita, pinag-uusapan. Tama ba? Parang wala akong kausap ngayon. Ay, di ba? Mas mabenta yung nakakatakot na balita kaysa sa wala lang. No? Kaya nga, alam lang mga newsmaker to eh. Eh tayo naman, ayun, naniniwala. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Tayo naman, bumibigay. Oo nga, nakakatakot. Di ba? They, uh, kumikita sila dyan. Pag ang balita, uh, nakakatakot, gustong-gustong nalala yan. Kasi kinakagat natin eh. Yan ang nature natin. Mas gusto natin yung bad news. It stirs up social media. Kaya nga, narinig ka niyan. Tapos, ayun, kumalat na sa Facebook. Oh, alam mo. Oo oh, nga, no? Oh, Parang wala akong kausap ngayon. Fear is one of Satan's favorite devices. Ito, isa sa pinaka-paborito niyang device. To confuse our minds. Cause irrational thoughts and derail us from doing the will of God. Ito po kasi yan eh. Ginagamit ng demonyo yung takot para hindi mo magawa yung kalooban niya. Pag takot ka, you know, uh, hindi ka makaabante. No? Sino po naniniwala dito na yung, yung will ni Lord sa iyo, the best? Tas ang kamay ng mga naniniwala dyan. Hallelujah. Ang gagawin ng demonyo para hindi mo magawa yung will ni Lord, you know, sasabayan ka ng takot. That is why God says, Tignan niyo po yung verse. God has not given you a spirit of fear. Ang takot hindi galing sa Diyos. It can paralyze you. It can stop you from, you know, doing the best that God has for you. As someone described, you know, somebody put this word fear in an acronym and it's put this way. Lagay natin sa screen. Sabi nga, fear is like false expectations appearing real. No? False expectations appearing real. Hindi naman totoo, pero parang totoo. In fact, did you know that experts are saying na, you know, 90%, uh, you know, yung, uh, 90% ng mga kinatatakutan natin, hindi naman totoo. So recently, I was just contemplating on this message that I'm preaching to you. And I said, Lord, what is it about fear? Ano ba tong fear na to na nakaka-apekto negatively sa amin? Uh, paano, ano ba to, Lord? What, what is it all about? Yung, bakit kami, uh, you know, kumisan nauunahan ng takot? Bakit kami, you know? And God gave me a revelation. And it is the revelation by ADM. 
Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Anthony D. Martinez. Hallelujah. Quote by Anthony D. Martinez. No? Fear is rooted in lies. Ang pinag-uugatan ng fear natin, lahat ng mga kasinungalingan ng kaaway natin. Kaya tayo nauunahan ng takot kasi pinaniniwalaan natin yung mga kasinungalingan ng kaaway. Ridiculous, unfounded, crazy, negative thoughts that grip your mind. Are you following, church? When you believe the lies of the enemy, it causes you to fear. No? Let me put it this way. Ganito para mas maintindihan natin. Sino na po rito yung mga nabiktima ng fake news? Oh, yun na naman. Okay. Pag magpakatuto tayo, yung, yung uh, napaniwala ka na totoo pero hindi naman pala. Come on, diba? Naglilipa na po yan sa social media. Tama ba? No? Diba? Fake news or fake information? No? Uh, okay, let me just put it this way. Sino na po rito yung Uh, na biktima ng fake product sa Lazada at saka sa, sa ano, ha? Come on, tasa ka ba? Yung, yung kala mo, totoo, genuine, hindi pala. Come on, come on, biglang nabali, biglang, you know? Tama ba? Okay, nakaka-relate na po tayo. Now, alam nyo, eto yan eh. Ganito po yan, no? For a lie to be believed, it must be repeated over and over and over again. Alam ng mga nagbebenta yan. Alam ng, ng mga nagpapakalat ng fake news. Ang gagawin nila, i, talagang i-release i- i- lang, i-release siya. Kaya nga, sa mga social media, ano natin, yung pinapakita lagi. Yung pinapakita yan. Kasi alam nila, the more na inuulit-ulit, nakikita mo, nakikita mo, nakikita mo, the next thing you know, kahit mali, kahit hindi totoo, napapaniwala ka na. Are you following? Hello? Are you following? So, kaya nga, nabibiktima ka eh. Nakakabili ka ng fake product eh. Napapaniwala ka kasi nga, talagang, laging lumalabas yan sa feed mo. Lumalabas. Una, hindi ka naniniwala. And the next thing you know, oo nga no, oo nga no. And next thing you know, you believe it. And in a more serious manner, kung yan ay isang uh, bad news or negative, nakakatakot na balikta, the next thing you know, natatakot ka na. No wonder, pakinggan nyo ako. That is why, are you ready for a revelation? That is why God has to keep on repeating over and over and over and over again. Sabi niya, anak, fear not. Fear not. 365 times. Come on, come on, church. 365 times. Talagang binanggit sa Bible, ulit-ulit, anak, huwag kang matakot, huwag kang matakot, kasama mo ako, I will be your provider. Kasi alam ni Lord na ang pantapat niya sa mga kasinungalingan ng Diyos, alam ni Lord para maalis yung takot mo. Sabi ni Lord sa iyo, huwag kang matakot, anak, kasama mo ako, hindi kita ilalaglag. Kama palapakan mo si Lord. Amen! And maybe you, you're here today, hindi mo alam sa, kaya ka nang hina sa buong ligo kasi may pinaniwalaan ka na naman. And God is saying to you today, and He's speaking to you personally today, Anak, wag kang matakot. Sakot kita, sabi ni Lord. Hallelujah. Pwede bang pakitapik yung balikat nung katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, wag kang matakot, sagot ka ni Lord. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Sabi ko nga kay Pastor Ruth at kay Pastor William kanina sa 7 and 9 a.m. celebration, you know, pagtulungan nyo na uh, t- yung 365 uh, uh, times na binanggit yung fear not, uh, hanapin nyo sa Bible ka ako. Halukwikin nyo ang Bible nyo. Hallelujah. At ipakita natin, siguro ipost natin sa social media natin. Hallelujah. Para naman ma-remind tayo na huwag tayong matakot. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the next time na maramdaman mo kung naunahan ka ng spirito ng takot, tanong mo yung sarili mo. Ano na naman kaya yung mga pinaniwalaan kong maling information? So next time na, hindi you yan, know, bakit ako natatakot ngayon? Marahil, you know, ano na naman yung mga inilagay mo sa isip mo? 
Ang ilagay mo sa isip mo, ito, anak, sabi ni Lord, huwag kang matakot. Sagot kita. And we say, and we say, kasi po, kasi po ito yan. Eh. You see, when God says, fear not, it is always followed by a promise. Hindi sasabihin ni Lord sa'yo na, you know, kasi meron mga ganun eh, yung mong tumari, lagi-encourage ka ng uh, kaibigan mo, bro, huwag ka matakot. Sige, mauna ka na. Yung mga ganun eh, no? O, oh, diba? Okay ito ha. Pero si Lord, hindi ganun. Huwag ka matakot kasi katabi mo ko, nauna na ako sa'yo. Ayun, pinapaligiran kita ng aking press. Kaya huwag ka matakot. Kasama mo ako dito. Yung sinasabi sa Isaiah 41, you know, fear not for I am with you. Though you walk, you know, through the uh, shadow of death, in Psalm 23, you will fear no evil. For the Lord is with you. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. And everybody said amen to that. So, kaya nga, sabi ko kay Pastor Bino, Pastor Ruh, hanapin yung lahat ng mga 365 times of fear not na may kalakip na pangako. Because when God says fear not, it is always followed by the truth of His word. To go against the lies of the enemy, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. And everybody said, and everybody said, so ito po yan, no? Gusto tayong bigyan ni Lord ng sound mind. Ang unang-unang gagawin ni Lord, anak, ito gagawin natin. Para magkaroon ka ng sound mind, we're gonna get rid of the spirit of fear. Hindi galing sa akin yan. Alright? Ang galing sa akin, sabi ni Lord, fear not. Don't be afraid. Yan ang galing sa akin. So let's get rid of the spirit of fear. At ito po yung kasunod. God wants to give you a sound mind. Secondly, by empowering you with the Holy Spirit. No? Go back to the verse again. Sabi, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but He has given us power. But of power. So in other words, ganito yan. Anak, eto, bibigyan kita ng sound mind. Gagawin natin, let's get rid of the spirit of fear. Palitan natin ngayon ng spirit of power. And His name is the Holy Spirit. And everybody said amen to that. No? Palapakan mo nga si Lord. So, hindi lang yung aalisin yung spirit of fear, pero may kapalit. Because you have to understand that the, the devil always fills a vacuum. Ang isang bagay na walang vacuum, pinupuno ng demonyo. Kaya nga, pag inalis mo yung hindi tama, palitan mo ng tama. Can I hear an amen? So, pag inalis yung spirit of fear, sabi ni Lord, I'm gonna give you the spirit of power. It is the Holy Spirit. Why? And I think, lahat po tayo dito mag-agree sa akin. Lalo na, lalo na kayo na you know, talagang uh, binayo na ng mga matitinding bagyo sa buhay, you know, talagang dumaan na ng mga katakot-takot na pagsubok sa buhay. I think by now, we will all agree with this truth. On our own, we are powerless. Lahat na nag-agree dyan, magsabing amen. amen. Lahat na nag-agree dyan, magsabing, I get you, Pastor. Come on, hallelujah. Di ba? Diba? By this time, I think we realize that on our own, we are powerless. In other words, we cannot do it on our own strength. Hindi natin kaya. That's why I said, pag matindi yung mga hinaharap natin, kailangan natin, it's not positive thinking but spirit-powered thinking. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, give God praise to that. Siguro pag mag-aalang ang problema, makukuha pa yan sa positive thinking. Pero pag ibang level na, kayo po ba yun na pa? Kayo na nakakarelate dito. No amount of positive thinking will do it. Amen. You need the Holy Spirit. You need spirit power. Everybody said amen to that. Spirit powered thinking. A sound mind is a mind controlled by the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 5 and 6 declares, those who are dominated by the sinful nature, think about sinful things. But those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit, think about things that please the Spirit. Verse 6. So letting your sinful nature control your mind, it leads to death. But look at the last line. But letting the Spirit 
control your mind leads to life and peace. And everybody said amen to that. Come on, palapakan natin si Lord. Tinuluwang ka ni Lord na alisin yung spirit of fear now. Pinupuspus ka ni Lord ng kapangyarihan ng yung spirito para madisiplina yung ating mga pag-iisip. Kapag ang isip natin ay pinahintulutan natin ng Holy Spirit na ayusin ito, ang bunga nito. You know? Talagang buhay na masagana, buhay na payapa, buhay na maayos. Sino po rito yung gustong maayos ang buhay nila? Can I hear an Amen. Hallelujah. Sino po rito yung gustong matagumpay na buhay? The power of the Holy Spirit. Yung sound mind sa ibang translation actually means self-discipline. Disiplinadong isip. In other words, kapag ang isip natin na didisiplina ng Holy Spirit, nahaayos ang buhay natin. And guess what? Did you know? Everybody say, did you know? May dalawang bagay na dinidisiplina ang Holy Spirit sa atin para maayos niya ang buhay natin. Gusto niyo malaman? Gusto niyo malaman? Parang hindi pa nag-almusay yung mga taga 11 a.m. Gusto niyo malaman? Thank you. Hallelujah. Salamat naman. Tinagalog ko po ito para mas magandang pakinggan. Okay. Mas hindi maganda sa English eh. Maganda sa Tagalog. Ang dalawang bagay na dinidisiplina ng Holy Spirit sa atin para maayos niya ang buhay natin, mabless niya ang buhay natin, ito. Unang-una niyang dinidisiplina ay ang... Are you ready? Madaldal na dila. <laughs> ang tawag dyan, me and my big mouth. No? Dahil hindi napigilan yung yung mga negative words nakasira ng relasyon, nakasira ng buhay, nakasira ng araw because of words. Kayo po ba inaantyan pa? Kaya hindi niyo po ba uh, hindi niyo po ba na realize na nung dumating ang Holy Spirit uh, sa Book of Acts, no, nung unang dumating ang Holy Spirit sa mga disciples, the Bible says they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they all began to speak in other tongues. In other words, Holy Spirit, you know, hinawakan ng ang dila. This time, sabi ng Holy Spirit, hahawa ko yung dila nyo because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yung sa atin, hindi natin na-release na kaya hindi tayo nabibless kasi you are cursing your needs. You are cursing your situation sa pagre-reklamo. Kaya hindi makadalo yung pagpapala nilo kasi lumalabas sa bibi mo negative eh. Are you following church? So, ang unang-unang dinidisiplina, yung power ng Holy Spirit, didisiplinahin niya yung mga madadaldal na dila. Look at your neighbor right now at ask her or him, ikaw ba yun? Hallelujah. Amen. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Palapakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. In fact, hindi ko magtataka na merong mga hindi naka-attend today kasi yung tatay nakapagbitaw ng mga manghang na salita. Ayun, nasira yung araw. Huwag na lang tayo mag-attend. Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Kami po ni Labsi, meron po kaming covenant. You know, when I was a young pastor, may covenant po kami ni Labsi. Meron kaming kasunduan na pagdating ng Friday, huwag siyang magsasalita ng negative sa akin kasi magpipreach ako ng Sunday. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kasi baka hindi ako makatayo sa inyo kasi nabugbuga ko ng mga, you know, mga ganyan. No? Can I hear an amen? I tell you, it worked. It has worked all these years and it is effective. Hallelujah. Ang dalawang bagay na dinidisiplina ng Holy Spirit ay, ano yung una? Madaldal na dila. Gusto niyo malaman yung pangalawa? Actually po, yung pangalawa, yun po yung hugot nung pang-una eh. No? Inuna ko na lang yung, yun, yung madaldal na dila. Pero ito po yun. Ang pangalawa, dinidisiplina ng Holy Spirit sa atin, ito po, malikot na isip. When I say malikot na isip, ito yung uncontrolled, undisciplined mind. 
Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na, kumisan, ito yung lumalabas sa conversation. Bakit, you know, uh, bakit lumalabas? Pagmumura, pagre-reklamo, uh, puro negative, puro hopeless, puro help, puro ganyan-ganyan. Kasi usually, ito yun. Ano na naman kaya ang naglalaro sa isip mo? Kaya gagawin ng Holy Spirit pag napuspos ka niya, inalis ni Lord yung spirit of fear. Sabi niya, aayusin natin ang yung iniisip para maayos na ang lumalabas sa bibig mo at para maayos ang buhay mo. And everybody said, and everybody said, Woo! Palapakan nga natin si Lord dyan. Tawag dyan, renewed mind. Inayos na isip. Sound mind. A sound mind is disciplined by the Holy Spirit. He delivers you from the lies of the enemy. He speaks truth to you. He protects your mind from negative, crazy, unfounded thoughts. And He gives you life and peace. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, and everybody said, Palapakan nga muna natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Kaya yun ang Ibig sabihin ng Greek word, no? yung, yung sound mind. A delivered, a frame of thinking that has been delivered. Wow. No? A rescued, restored, revived. And now, yung isip na yan, may, may feeling of safe and security because you are no longer affected by the lies of the enemy, by the negative thoughts that he throws at you because na-deliver ka sa spirit of fear. Now, now, you are being filled by the Holy Spirit. And everybody said, Amen. Let's give God praise to that. Come on. Last but not the least, sabi ng verse, and I hope na maging memory verse mo to, sabi nun, God has not given you a spirit of what? A spirit of fear, but of what? Of power and of... Ano yun? And of what? And of? Thank you. Ulitin natin. God has not given you a spirit of? But of? And of? Love. Yun po yung pangalawa. In the list ni Lord, yung uh, spirit of fear, pinuspus ka ng kanyang spirito. Ngayon naman, God wants to give you a sound mind by making you rooted in His love. And everybody said, Amen. San ka pa? Nakita nyo? God's gonna give you, God wants to give you a sound mind. Anak, alisin natin yung takot. Pangalawa, anak, pupuspusin kita ng kapangyarihan ng Spirito. Kasi on your own, hindi mo kaya. Ito yung pangatlong sinabi niya. Anak, you must be rooted in my love. You know why, church? Pakinggan niyo po ako. Insecurity affects our mental health. I mean, it's true. People who are insecure, madaling madepress. Madaling madiscourage. Yung mga tao hindi sigurado. Hindi sigurado sa buhay. Walang katiyakan sa buhay. They easily, you know, they get affected. Confusion with our identity affects our mental health. Totoo po yan. And it's happening all around. Yan kung mga tao na, ano nga ba ako? Sino nga ba ako? Ganito ba ako? Yun, ganun. The next thing you know, you know, they get worried, they get anxious, they, they get so disoriented in life. Now listen, church. You are mentally strong and stable when you are rooted in Christ. Love. And we say amen to that. 
Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 and 19. Let's read this. When I think of all this, Paul said, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your, what's the word? Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. Remember that song, sabi nung nata, How deep the Father's love for us that He gave His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in Him will not die, but will have an everlasting life. Malalim ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa atin. And we say, Amen. Sabi pa dyan, may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. His perfect love drives away all fear. And we say amen. Kaya ito po ang payo ko sa marami sa atin. Huwag na huwag kang umasa ng ganap na pag-ibig sa iyong asawa, sa mga anak mo, sa mga magulang mo, sa kaibigan mo, sa boyfriend mo. They can never give you perfect love. Magkukulang at magkukulang yan. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Hallelujah. Sabi ng 1 John 4.18 Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. Ang ganap na pag-ibig inaalis ang lahat ng takot and you can only find that in one person. His name is Jesus Christ. And we say Amen. Come on, palapakan mo na mas patindi pa si Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Siya lang ang makakapagbibigay niyan. Siya lang ang makakapagsettle ng puso mo. Kasi yung pag-ibig niya ganap, perfect. Ang pag-ibig niya, hindi nagkukulang. Ang pag-ibig niya, hindi nagmamaliw. Ang pag-ibig niya, hindi nagbabago. Hindi pabago-bago. At kailanman, hindi magbabago. He will always love you. Amen. Amen. Kaya po kayo na na-broken hearted lately. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus loves you. Sabi niya ka. Kung kayo ay broken hearted, sabihin mo, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. O, di ba? For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong. They are weak, but my God is strong. Awitin natin. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hindi mo makikita yan sa anumang psychology books. You can only find it in one book. Dito pinapakita ang di nagmamaliw, di nagkukulang na pag-ibig ng Diyos sa'yo na ipinamalas niya kay Jesus Christ. And we say amen. For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 
Pag naalis ang takot, inhayos ng Holy Spirit ang ating pag-iisip, pinuspos tayo ng pag-ibig ni Jesus. Magiging maayos, magiging maganda, magiging matagumpay ang ating mga buhay. And everybody said, Amen to that. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Would you please stand with me right now? Bow your heads and close your eyes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, you are a God who is so concerned with us. You are a God who cares. Who cares about our feelings, our thoughts, our our words. You care, Lord. And you want, Lord, to give us peace of mind. Gusto mo kami bigyan ng stable heart, a stable mind, a strong mind, and a healthy mind. Kasi alam po ninyo na ang isang magandang pag-iisip may kinalaman sa aming magandang buhay. Kaya Lord, I pray that at this moment, Lord, on our own, we are powerless. Right now, Father God, deliver us from the spirit of fear. Deliver us sa lahat ng mga kasinungalingan ng demonyo. Lord, Lord, I pray na marinig po namin bawat isa sa amin na sinasabi mo ngayon sa amin, hindi galing sa iyo ang spirito ng takot. Sinasabi niyo ngayon, huwag kang matakot, anak. Hallelujah. May mga pangako ako sa iyo. I will provide for all your needs. I will supply for all your needs. I'll take care of your future. Hallelujah. Oh, palala kasi kita, pasisiglahin kita. Hindi kita iiwan, hindi kita bababay. Lord, those are the words that you are saying to us. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, G. Huwag kang matakot sa iyong kinabukasan. Sagot ni Lord ang iyong kinabukasan. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord yan. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free, Lord, for deliverance, for healing, Lord. And right now, could you just lift your hands with me right now and can we just allow the Holy Spirit to fill us right now? Thank you that there is a power greater than us and it is the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill us right now. Take control of our hearts. Take control of our minds. Hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, release peace, release joy, release power, release healing in our minds right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, yes, Lord. So those who are struggling with depression and anxiety and worry, right Right now, through the power of the Holy Spirit, set them free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Lord. And as you are healing, oh God. Oh God, hallelujah. Release healing, Lord God, to our physical bodies, oh God. Lord, yung ilan po sa amin, kaya kami nandupaypay, nagkasakit, dahil ano-anong iniisip namin. Right now, Father God, heal our weak bodies right now. Sa lahat ng mga may karamdamang physical sa oras na ito, pagalingin niyo po sila in Jesus' name. Just believe that right now. And Lord, fill us with your perfect love right now because that's the only way fear can be driven out in the name of Jesus. Fill us, Lord, with the perfect love of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you honor today. And Lord, today we can say we are delivered. We are set free, oh God. Oh God, we are revived by the power of your Spirit and by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Palapakan po natin si Lord. Come on, give God praise. Come on, let's declare this truth today. Oh yes, Jesus. Over every heart and every mind. Cause I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom 
Your name is healing. And your name is life. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, that we can find freedom and healing oh, and miracles, oh God, in one name alone. And His name is Jesus Christ, our provider, our healer, oh, our victory. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Na kami ay yung pinalaya, pinuspos, at binigyan ng kapangyarihan sa araw na ito. Thank you, Father. All heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Maybe for some of you here today, you're about to encounter the greatest Savior of all. Today, you're about to make a decision. You will surrender your life to Jesus Christ. If you are that person today, just raise your right hand where you are. Thank you. And for those of you who raise your right hand, just pray this prayer with us, this prayer of faith. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, today, I admit I'm hopeless, helpless without you. I am broken without you. Jesus, I am a sinner and I need a Savior. Be my Savior. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Change me. And set me free. I repent of all my sins. I open my heart and I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart that you came and you died on the cross to give me eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Today, I believe I am forgiven, I am saved, and I am free. Thank you, Jesus. From this day forward, I will love you, I will honor you, and I will follow you. In your name I pray. And we all say amen and amen. And can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise for that? If you pray that prayer with faith in your heart, the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creation. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Can we, can we give the Lord another big, big hand of praise for that? Wow. Make this your memory verse. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Everybody said amen to that. Give your hands. I want to bless you with a prayer. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord bless you with a sound mind. The Lord bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you with the love of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you with supernatural protection, supernatural provision. The Lord bless your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all say amen and amen. God bless you, church. See you next Sunday. Hallelujah.